hello so today's video is based off this look from Perry Edwards from Little Mix and let's jump straight into the video so first of all I'm going to tie my hair back because it was getting in the way then I'm going to take an eyebrow stencil and brush through my brows with a spoolie and then take the pen brows and this is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the colour taupe. And fill in anything that may be missing. Realised it was hot in my room. Put the fan on. And then I repeat to the other eye. Or the other eyebrow, not the other eye. Then I'm going to take the clear brow setting gel and brush that through the front of my brows. Then I'm going to turn a bit gimme brow and just brush that through the front as well just to give me some colour. And then I'll take the spoolie again just to smooth over my brows. Then I'm going to use the NARS smudge proof primer and run that all over the lids and the lower lash line. I'm going to blend out with my ring finger. Then I'm going to take Frappe from Makeup Geek, which is in the Manny MUA palette, but it's also a permanent colour from Makeup Geek. I've said Makeup Geek about 10 times. And I'm going to brush the crease on a fluffy brush and then just blend out. And so we add more colour and then blend out again. Then I'm going to take this black eyeliner from, I don't know, but I'll list it in the bottom bar. So I smash that all over the eyelid and then I blend out with a brush, like a flat flat pack brush from Kiko. I think it's the 208 eyes. And then I'm gonna do the eye. Then I'm gonna take black out from Urban Decay, which is also a permanent colour so you don't have to buy the kit because I'm pretty sure it was limited edition the Gwen Stefani one and then I'll just put that all over where we put the eyeliner and then I'm going to blend out to make sure it's all smooth every time you put eyeshadow down you just basically want to blend and then pack more colour down there Then I'm going to take the Freedom Primer and Water and just spray that all over my face. Then I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in green and just put that all over the chin. Because that's where I have redness in my pimples. Then I'm going to take Body Shop Oil Drops and NW15 and NW35 from MAC and just put that all over my face with a foundation brush and then blend out with B Cosmetics Beauty Blender. And I've used the darker shade because I have got some fake tan on. And then just put a bit more over the chin. Just keep blending until everything is smooth. Then I'm going to take the Bobbi Brown Loose Powder in Pow Yellow. And I'm going to set that on the chin, the nose and the forehead because it's oily. I'm just going to pat it into the skin. Then 
then I'm going to take the LA Pro Concealer in the color Classic Ivory. I'll just do that in an upside down triangle under my eye. And then just blend out with my finger. Then a Rick Leaks buffing brush. And the Beauty Blender. I'm just going to make sure everything is smooth. And I'm going to sit with the Marc Jacobs, I think it's Instamark it's called. In the, I know it's like colour 40 I think. I'm just going to set that under the eye. I do the same to the other eye but my video cut off. So I'm going to take the concealer, the bridge of the nose, the forehead and the cupid's bow. And then just do exactly the same with the finger, the buffing brush and the beauty blender. Set exactly with, then I'm going to set with exactly the same powder. Then I'm going to take the sleek palette. Sleek contour palette, sorry, in the shade 5 from the, this is the light kit. And I'm going to take that on the cheekbones. Down the sides of the nose and the tip of the nose. Then I'm going to blend out with a, du a duo a fibre brush. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> then I'm going to set that with the Marc Jacobs powder, the contour powder. Oh, I don't even know anymore, I'm just going to say it. <laughs> you get the gist. And then I'm going to take blackout. No, not an eyeliner brush, an eyebrow brush. Place that on the lower lash line. And then just blend out a little bit. And so I'm going to do the waterline. Which then I'm going to take the Maybelline Rocket Mascara and just scar on, obviously cut my eyelashes first and obviously put it on lower lash line I'm not going to apply any false lashes then I'm going to go back in to a frappe from Makeup Geek and just take that under the black on the lower lash line then I'm going to take this funny you say it's like jelly pong pong cosmetics and it's like um a lighter like a nude color eyeliner and i'm just going to take that on the brows and the inner corner just because she doesn't have much glow there and i'm going to take the elf baked highlighter in moon moonlight something oh, i don't know what it's called but it'll be in the bottom bar because I find that she didn't have much highlighter. Then I'm going to take the Glory Blush and put that on the apples of the cheeks. And I'm going to dust away my bake, but I realised that I've cut the bit where I put the bake on. So that's my fault. I'm sorry for that. Then I'm going to get a lip gloss from Kylie Cosmetics in So Cute. And then that is the finished look. Alright, bye.